Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Dragon Age Origins. It is the new series that I'm going to be doing on a Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, I, I, I've changed things up a little bit so uh, there's going to be three series running simultaneously and that's going to be um, Dragon Age Origins because I, I wanted to do, I've been doing a lot of RTSs lately and I wanted to do an RPG or a FPS or something like that. So I considered Fallout and Skyrim, but they tend to kind of be endless, and the amount of mods is ridiculous. So I've decided that I'm going to do a Dragon Age first, the entire Dragon Age series, from Origins all the way through to Inquisition. I know Dragon Age 2 isn't really great, but... Meh. So we're going to be doing Dragon Age Origins. Uh, I do have all the DLC, so if I uh, go over to downloadable content, I've got it all. I've got um, the battle dress, etc. Liliana's song, uh, the Darkspawn Chronicles, uh, Return to Ostagar, Awakening, which we will be carrying on, uh, Warden's Keep, Witch Hunt, etc. Bloody bloody blah, and we will do all the DLCs that I can get my grubby little mitts on. So without further ado, let's start with Origins. And then we will work our way through. And this character save file is the save file that's going to end up going through the entire games. Like, all three games. Because it works... Uh, obviously, it's made by EA and Bioware. So it works very similar to Mass Effect. So you can... Whereas Mass Effect, you play as a singular character. Um, Dragon Age, you don't. You play as three different characters. You the play as uh, teaches us Hawk, that it is the hubris of men uh, which brought the dark spawn the into Grey our Warden world. And uh, the, the Inquisitor. mages had sought to usurp heaven. But you can use the save file and Instead, it changes aspects it. of the story. So we will be romancing Leliana. That is that is something I've decided. They were cast out. I asked on the Discord for uh, by their own people's opinions, and I got told just go with who you prefer. It'll be more they interesting that way. Monsters, so that's who I'm going with. Darkspawn. And I mean, <laughs> technically, this takes place during the first part of Dragon Age Two. They became a blight upon the lands, but Screwhawk, am I right? And relentless. Oh, and in Dragon Age 2, we will be keeping Bethany alive, the no matter Northern what. Kingdoms were the first to fall. Because I fucking hate and Carver, from the deep for roads, a start. The dark spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Oh, he was being dragged. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, how is he sliding? The remainder of the dwarves in the dark roads. No, deep roads. A dwarven army in the deep roads with stone golems. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race. Warriors and mages. Barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness. Elves, humans, dwarves, mages. Doesn't matter who. Everyone. But uh, I, I like Dragon Age because uh, the mages have... They're like psychers from Warhammer. They have the chance of being possessed and nobody really likes them. It's exactly like Warhammer. It is beautiful. It has been four centuries since that victory. We will be playing a warrior. A vigil. human male warrior. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. I, I, those who once called us heroes I, I have was forgotten. tempted by an elf I, I don't really like we mages are few now, honestly and our warnings have been ignored for too long you know how did he not sense the darkspawn before then it may even be too late for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Treason. Betrayal. Heresy. Maker. Help us all. Well, I'll do my best. 
So, now we get into character creation, I do believe. Yep, the background you will determine. So, you can be an elf, uh, you can be a dwarf, or you can be a human. Dwarfs obviously cannot be mages because they uh, have no affinity to magic. But I believe they get a resistance to magic? Yes, 10% chances to resist hostile magic. Elves have uh, an increase to magic and humans are just generally all around. Uh, humans are like most humans in RPGs. They are a... Uh, they're a sort of all around... group. They, they can do pretty much anything they like, you know. Uh, you can be a human noble. Either as a rogue or a warrior. If you're a mage, you're in the circle. You can be a elf warrior, so you can either be uh, the uh, alienage, you grew up in an alienage, or you grew up with the Dalish, you can be a mage, elf, which apparently means you end up in the circle. Okay. I, that's surprising. I would have thought you'd had the Dalish or the circle. A rogue, same reason. Or you can be a warrior, and you can be a dwarf commoner, or a dwarven noble. That armor looks pretty cool, to be fair. And obviously rogue, etc. And these are all... It's a neat uh, character customization. So we're going to be a human noble. A male human noble. Greetings. A human noble. Alright, now we've got to make this guy look relatively human. Perfect. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that could work. Let's just, uh, hair. I like it. Beard. Perfect mustache. Look at that. Cool. Ladies. That looks very dark on the recording for some reason. Hmm. I'll have to have a look at that in a moment. Oh, they don't have a suave beard. That chin strap is not actually attached. Look, right there. You can, you can see where it's not attached. Okay. I quite like the big beard. I'm kind of tempted by the suave as fuck mustache. And obviously... We will have a dark brown, of course. I'm very tempted by the suave moustache. Well, let's take the beard off and see what stubble there is. See if we can get a nice... It's not a bad stubble, actually. That's not a bad stubble at all. We need to adjust his cheeks, because... That is just too friggin' gaunt. There we go, because he's, he's going to have some muscle to him. Alright, but back to hair, back to hair. Of course, eyes. You can change all the eye colour and everything. We want a nice, lightish blue. That's probably the best we're going to get in this game. I don't know about beard, man. That looks so stupid. I love it. Yeah, that chin strap is not attached. We'll go with that, and then we'll change the stubble down to just a little bit of stubble around the mouth, you know, so, yeah. That beard looks... That's just stuck on with some glue, isn't it? That's not even a real beard. I like it, I like it. <laughs> Next thickness is the incredible bulk. Um, maybe not quite... You've got normal human Brock Lesnar. Normal human Brock Lesnar. We, we will go half Brock Lesnar, half normal human. And then portrait. We want to we wanna turn him to the left slightly. Look down a bit. Change the background to a nice purple, I think. And express... <laughs> No, he's 
going to be quite a suave gentleman, I think. So there we go, there we go. Just a nice little bit of a raise of the eyebrow. Or we could just go full spastic. <laughs> he looks so stupid. Now we'll just go slight raise of the eyebrow. He's going to be suave. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh god, he sounds like a pillock. Greetings. Greetings. How do you do? Greetings. How do you do? Damn! Lost the spell! Greetings. Ah, my spell! Greetings. Well, that didn't work. Well, this is hard. My weapon is useless. Move aside. Greetings. I cannot cast it! <laughs> well, that was phoned in. It is unharmed. Excuse me. How do you do? Right. Casting. Focus. Hmm. New weapon. Coming through. Off I go. Charmed, I'm sure. Ah! There went the spell. I need something new. Greetings. No, it is gone. I should do something else. Excuse me. Till we meet again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That one will do. And we are Viking Kuzland. Now we get to select our uh, abilities. Now these change, obviously, by which race you are. We're going to go for some strength and some coddy. Some coddy. Uh, that is dual weapon fighting, dexterity, measures agility, reflexes. Uh, favoured by rogues. Strength is also favoured by rogues? What? No. If they wish to wield... Well, we do. So we're going to go with... Not much... Wait, what's cunning? Cunning is... Subtly read the target. Uh, no, we're going to be a big brutish fellow. We're going to go with some coercion. Which is... Um, essentially... Uh, persuasion? Yeah, persuasion is probably what you'd class it as. And weapons. He is going to wield a two-handed sword. So... We're going to go with Mighty Blow and Sunder Arms? Or... Yeah, we'll go with Sunder Arms. And we will play on normal difficulty. Okay, that's taken me about 12 minutes to sort out my goddamn character, but there we go. You may hear my fan. I do apologise for this, but uh, it hasn't actually rained in the UK for... Uh, well, in my part of the UK, for anyway, for about seven weeks. And it is getting ridiculously hot. And I have an AMD processor, so, you know. Justice and temperance. Demon! <laughs> when your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, yes. no. Yes, it is. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. And then suddenly you and I graphical will change. tomorrow, just like the old days. True. That we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. Uh, was I brought here for a reason? And you, Earl Howe, is your family here? So you're not leaving until tomorrow. Ooh, how do we want our character to be? Do we want him to be a bit snide and snarky? Or do we do we want him to be prim and proper? Or uh, inquisitive? 
or just, you know, don't give a shit. Uh... Oh no, I left them in Amaranthine, well away from the fighting in the south. They do send their best wishes. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Ha! Ah, to what end, he says. That's funny, clear. I thought this was... The boy's a whip like his father. Voice acted. See what I contend with, Hal? You can't tell my fierce boy anything these days, make her bless his heart. Ha, <laughs> temperament to match his fighting skill. I thought well this done, was voice acted. Lordship. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Uh, I'm certain you'd more than prove yourself, but I am not willing to deal with your mother if you join the war. She'd kill me if I let you go. She's already twisted into knots about Fergus and me going. I thought this was voice acted, but oh well. Um, very well, now, I that's do what, what I you think hear. is best. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away. Yes. Or in There's this also case, I'm a Bari hound. Meet. Please, show Duncan. <laughs> what was that? Are it you a gorilla or a soldier? In your hall, Tyrion Coolstrand. What's up, Betty boy? You didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest maybe with this your stature you know, demands certain protocol. Eyebrows. I am at a disadvantage. I don't give a fuck. We form. rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, brother Aldous Stop calling me Pup. Grey Warden's army. I'm 22. Bitch, I'll end you. Uh, they're an order of great warriors. They defeated the Darkspawn long ago. He said they were a very small order, no longer important. Is there a reason I should care? Um, they defeated the Darkspawn a long time ago. Without their warning of the Darkspawn, I was very tempted to just be like, the is there a reason I should care? Before we'd had a chance to react, Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow wardens in the south. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. So if I might be so bold, fucking I would pleb. suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. <laughs> Looks like I'm about to headbutt. I have more of a relation to Duncan looking at it than I fucking do my own father. I think I rather I like not that not so idea. many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I've no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? I just realized I didn't adjust skin color, so I am the whitest of white. I am practically an albino. In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. You'll have plenty of time after we're gone. We must discuss Fine. the battle plans in the south. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I have realized that I am the whitest of white. <laughs> I, I should probably have uh, realized that. Oh, my lord. What's up, we lad? Just, uh, well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the Tern stationed us here. Do you always question your duties? Did my father fear someone's sin? We appreciate that, my lord. Thank you. It's all good. I don't see the point in giving them a fucking dressing down. They are still standing guard, as it were, but... If someone wanted to come in to the vault area, aside from maybe, like the family if someone wanted to break in they'd have to break in through this door and breaking in through this door this bloke would probably spot them so like he spotted me so it they'll be fine oh there you are your so mother told Gilmore. me the town had summoned you so i didn't want to interrupt oh he's so prim and proper pardon my manners my lord it's simply that i've been looking all over the castle for you oh, i did fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again Woo. And is threatening to leave. And Anne's always threatening to leave. Ma'am, 
no matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. It's because he's, he's a pure-blooded Mabari. to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. Uh... That would be wise, before Nan tears down the walls. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Oh, of if course, only humans took that easily bored. Uh... Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, there is a would have me weird... you until the matter is settled. Okay. Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows There it. is like a weird depth of field mask around his hair. Oh, uh, dear. Alright, do what weapons do I have? I don't have any... No, I've just got a small sword and small shield. Well, we'll unequip the shield and we'll just use the sword for the time being. I shall do it. I shall do it. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But mistress, I it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Calm uh, yourself, calm good down. woman. Good woman. <laughs> We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. He is no beast. He is not a mongrel. He is a pure blood Mabari. A blight wolf is what he is. How am I supposed to work like this? Oh dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. Man, please. <laughs> get the dog. Calm down. Fine. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. Ah, uh, and she was my nanny. Hello, boy. Look at the pretty doggy. Look at oh, the pretty doggy. Look He's at a that warhound. Mess. How did he even get in here? Look at his little tail. Look at the smile. He's adorable. Enough, you're a bad boy. Oh, a smart boy, are oh, yeah. you? <laughs> I could berate him, or I can make him feel better, you know. It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? Please enter a name for your dog. What shall we call him? Ooh, what's a good warhound name? Uh, isn't it shift? I will look this up on my phone quickly. Like a good warhound name. For a woofy woofy dog. A uh, warhound name. Warhound no love. Let me give it a nice Warhound name. What did you name? Okay, fair enough. The Dragon Age Origins comes up straight away as the first thing. Someone named it Kitty. Because, why not? Turk. Uh, Dexter after the TV. Oh, I know what I'll call him. Castle. After the TV show, Richard Castle. <laughs> I love that show. I love Nathan Fillion. He's awesome. Uh... Terrorize another pantry. <laughs> Sir Gilmore, the language. It is begun. I just got bitten by a giant rat. Ooh, Elfred. Yes, please. Got one. I shall do. So Gilmore really giant testing rats. that. It's <laughs> like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. <gasps> Your hound must have chased them through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. He's covered in blood. Those were rats from the Kakari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. We're covered in blood. How do you intend and I'll to be on my explain way. this? I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Good luck. As New codex. Said. Castle. My puppy. A blank vellum. Uh, take. So that's like a piece of parchment. Okay. 
Hi, Nan. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. No doubt at all. Look at him now. Snuck into my larder once again and makes off like a free thief, he does. Oh, mistress, there are rats in the larder. Big ones. Oh, looks like the dog killed them. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. <laughs> Oh, he's adorable. Leave him alone. Don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. You're not, you know. Here, then. Take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Hooray! There we go. Okay. Now we need to go speak to Fergus. That, that, oh, okay. That is my objective, I do believe. Ha 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 ha. Uh, it'd be J for journal, in it? Father's task, find Fergus. Right. So let's go speak with Fergus. Oh, hello, we've got a posse blocking our way. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and Mr. Price... The Marquis? Marquis, ah, love. here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? He's not a troublesome hound. <laughs> Nan's head exploded. My hound ate the kitchen stuff. Well, Perfect. at least one of us will have had a decent dinner. Perhaps your <laughs> hound left something I can feed my guests. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. We have a spring salon? Uh, when you drunk... I'm so proud of my pup's mastery of tact and diplomacy. Stop calling me pup! Well, it was a lovely salon, from what little I remember. <laughs> Which wouldn't be much, considering we had to pour you into the carriage afterwards. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tournament. Yeah, and I kicked the and shit out of him. beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. Uh, you're being modest. You fall very well. Mother, why are these people here? And you, Darian. Um, we will be nice. And this is my lady in waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Who wouldn't? Landra. Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. Well, it can't make her any, uh... It, it, she needs something to make her look less like the fucking sun. Um... As it pleases you, my lord. Oh, it I pleases think me. perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you and I own Dyron, sorry. Perhaps I said Darian. Perhaps we retire to the study for now. Okay, you do that. Good evening, your lordship. Lady Landra? Mother! You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Why do you look like you've headbutted an Olay catalogue? You're right. I should go. <laughs> Fucking Captain Commander Shepard. God damn it. Are you staying in the castle? I have a bad feeling about all this. Blah, blah, blah. Are you staying in the castle? For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Yeah, Your makeup in this game, here, not subtle at all. <laughs> she genuinely looks like she's head button and Olay catalogue and that's what's sort of come out. She also appears to have the very weird depth of field thing. Like a just single strand of hair. Now I'm just stroking her face. Why am I doing that? Um I don't think you should go I was about to uh, as you wish. Good. I was worried you might be nervous about running the castle alone. Please putting me concerned. in command I should go. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? I love you too, Mother. Go do what you must, then. I will see you soon. Hooray! Okay, now... Da, 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 da. They've retreated to the study, which is the library. Yes, can I help you? You pointed at me. What, what would you like? Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Oh, God, that's Gosh, do boring. Do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kooslands, the very family in whose castle you live, 
I mean, they're not wrong. Respect. Perhaps you could help me with that. Oh, God. Might you join me in teaching this lesson? <sighs> Certainly, uh, I'm quite familiar with the subject matter. I'm a bit old for this. I must oh, attend to a board Does that task. mean we have to listen to you now? Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. But perhaps you should go. <laughs> I doubt they need any more distraction. I will not have you two become smart-mouthed hooligans. Here such as this one. Apparently, I just talk to myself. <laughs> he just fucking wanders off mumbling to himself. Excellent. Uh, and in here, where it, there she is, Iona. That is a wonderful dog. He seems very noble and intelligent. He oh. is. He's also still covered Greetings in blood. Again, Ignore that. You are very pretty. Uh, you are very pretty. My lord is very kind. Thank you. Uh, I haven't lady seen Landry any elves in the very good to me. I am lucky. If I may, elves Lina are also treated no as like second class herself. citizens. Is that usual for Dwarfs, a not so much. Cause they tend to bite people's mini caps. I don't know. You are very kind, my lord. I'm nobody special. You make me blush. Uh huh. Uh, I think we we should get to know each other better. Doing just that? What else did you have in mind? Well, your hair just seems to defy gravity, so uh, I'm not sure. I just like you. Something to uh, something more intimate later on I, in my room. I see. I think I might like that. If I come to your door once everyone is asleep, would that be agreeable, <laughs> my lord? I love how I'm like a foot taller than her. <laughs> Please call me Viking. Until tonight, then. <laughs> okay, the name is kind of stupid in that context. <laughs> Please, I love it. When, it's like, I love it when people call me daddy. I love it when people call me Viking. <laughs> right, so that's our lovely midnight encounter set up. Because, of course... I shall do it. Okay, good. It's, I mean, it's opening a door. It's nothing special. What's up, really shitheads? Will you bring me back a sword? A sword. That sword, Oren. No, I I'll prefer it. It's sword. The one I can find, I promise. Sword. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Shut up, Oren. Don't woman. frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. So do and my eyebrows. my little brother to mm. see me off. Who are you calling I'll little, shithead? Love and wish me well. I'm pretty sure I'm taller than you as well. Just let me know. You two are nauseating me. <laughs> when there's a woman in your life, you'll understand. Oh, I do. Women are overrated. No fewer than three, if you please. Yes. Bold words, little brother. I mean a real woman, not a turn in the straw. Fergus, language. Language. You like to play in the stable too, Uncle. I like to hide in the hay. You are Don't a special you child. If uh, I catch you with mate. your clothes full of straw again, I'll send you to Mother Malol. Malol? But Mama, she talks forever. Oren, you are a special child. <laughs> Father wants you to li uh, I wish I could go with you. You'll be missed. Did you know there's a Grey Warden in the really? castle? Was he riding a griffin? Mm, oh, yes, it's Griffin's in the stables. Go have a look. I've heard that. No, they don't. Did you see why he's come? Oh, if I were a Grey Warden, little brother, I'd have my eye on you. He does. Not that father would ever allow it. He won't. <laughs> then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Yep. Well, I'd better Why do I have shitty armor so made of lots of straps head, and you have, so like, chain mail? Time. Off we go, then. I'll see you soon, my love. Also, why are we walking around the ca our, our own castle wielding fucking swords and wearing armor? Be well, my son. <laughs> I will pray for your safety. See, a mother and father have got the right idea. Just walking around in some like high-end attire. You know, a shield might be more useful. Coming from the pillock, who's not using one. Fergus will be fine. You could have delivered your message yourself. Both my children in one place before I leave. Yeah, but Not I was going to have sex with Iona. Make us sustain and preserve us all. Oh, God, Watch she's a religious type. Sons, husbands and fathers and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. 
Uh, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a winch? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? No, that's a, a winch. winch is a woman pillock. that pours the ale in a tavern. Or oh my god, my nephew's an idiot. Or a woman Clearly. who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. Um, I'll miss you, mother hello. dear. Pack you'll of take small care boys of there. Brother, won't you? You can count on me, you'll need me. The mother can handle herself, voice It's true. They should be sending her, not me. She would scold those darkspawn back into the deep roads. Well, I'm glad you find this so funny. We do. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. Yes. You've much to do tonight. I will. I've much to do tonight, I think you'll find. <laughs> Alright, let's go uh, have our lovely encounter. Graphical quality change. In some aspects, the uh, recording is actually looking much better than than on my screen. Hmm, strange. And another graphical quality change. Huh, what the? My beard has come unglued. Ooh. Told you I was having a nice encounter. Your hound is making so much noise. He seems so angry. Does it the, is it the fact that you're an elf and one with nature that tells you this, or is it just the angry barking? I'll just ignore him. What did you do to him? I could put him out in the hall. Perhaps something I is wrong. I thought I heard yelling when I woke up, but now I hear nothing. I'm going to see if someone's in the hall. Yes, do that in your underwear. Holy fuck, those two have fucking nailed the timing a bloody well, haven't they? I need my armor! Uh, that's. He barely had opened the door. Wait! There we go. Long sword. Aha! I say. fight! I haven't exactly had a chance to put my armor on, is what I'm going with. Very well. Shall we do this? Yeah. Our skill has won the day. Where is the tear? As you tell us. Guys, I'll come. tell you when you're in Did hell. Foul ah. being. Come on! I shall do it. Stab him! Stab him! There we go. Thank you, Castle. Nice work. Darling, I heard fighting outside and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? <laughs> I like I like to think that that face is just like, Mother, I'm naked! <laughs> um, I, well, I'm naked, wielding a sword and covered in blood. I'm fine, it's not my blood, but those men killed what? Iona. The elven girl? But why? Um, the scream woke me up. <laughs> there were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Ignore the those fact that I was just men. talking about Iona and I'm us? naked and covered in blood, wielding a sword. Just ignore that fact. It's total coincidence. He betrayed father, he attacked while our troops were gone. Yeah, that one. Number one. You don't think Hal's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Okay. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. Uh, no, I haven't. I was in my room with Iona. We must find him. Uh... And trust his mercy. What if the soldiers went into your brother's room first? Why would Let's they do check that? On him quickly. Then we'll look for Bryce downstairs. Okay. Um. Can we wait one second while I get dressed? Just. Uh... And some leather gloves and perfect. <laughs> Okay, fine. I love how the blood seems to just uh, take off. The blood seems to friggin' come over my body. Excuse me, Mum. My uh, my sword appears to be raised right now. I do apologise. I will go and deal with this. As you say. Alright. Poor Iona. Oh well. At least she got to have sex before she died. And with me, ma. 
Oh, I see. I see. Not weird at all, is it? Having some fucking pictures to your bedroom. We don't get that, no. I'm gonna raid Perhaps your bedroom. Perhaps can salvage some things here, darling. Some of your father's belongings are in that trunk. Which trunk? This trunk. Oh, look, a great sword. Hell yes. Great sword. Now we're talking. Ignore that, mother. Uh, mother, by the way, you have not got this skill to unlock that. Okay. Also, my I've leveled up. So, three attributes. Let's put strength up. And we'll put Cunning up by one as well to get that to level 12. And we will get that on the go. And as for our Popsicle here. Uh, we'll put his strength up. I can play as a dog. This is the best game ever. Alright, but uh, that is where we will leave this episode. Uh, when we come back in the next episode... We will be going out on a fight. There is a torch in my face. Wait, where's the right camera? There it is. I am the I am the human torch. Oh, damn it. We will uh, continue with the attack on Castle Kuzland with myself, my dog, and my mother. The most unlikely of adventuring parties, but there we go. So, thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next episode, and ta -ra.